Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make these little bar rats here. They're actually really pretty. Pretty cute. Pretty easy to make. Look good on little bitty girl. Look good on anybody probably. So they don't really take no time at all. Dress up any outfit with this. So what you're going to need to make these is the yarn I used is Caron Simply Soft. Um, you, it's just a medium four ply, 100% acrylic. Now you can use any type of yarn that you want, just any kind of scrap yarn that you have. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind that you use. I use Caron because it does have a, like a sheen on it, and pretty sheen. But Red Heart will work fine. Cotton will work fine. Anything that you have because it doesn't take hardly any, um, any uh, yarn at all. So I used green. The green I used was pistachio and then I use pink and then I also use some white which you can't see it but it is under the button a little bit of white I don't know if you can see it on the inside no you can't really see it but yes I did use white too so and then you're gonna need these barrettes here I got these at Walmart in the uh, where they sell the ribbon back there by the buttons and stuff they come in a pack of, uh six i believe like this and they're probably i don't know maybe two inches across something like that you know but you can use any size that you want and then you're gonna need a, a hot glue gun and some hot glue and then the size of hook that I'm going to be using is a G, which is a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. And you're also going to need a couple buttons to put in the center of your flowers. This is probably a, I don't know, a little bit less, maybe a five, I don't know. Less than half an inch button is, is what this one is. But it, it doesn't really matter. Just a small button to fit in the, the center of your flower. So you're going to need two of those. If you want. You don't have to. And I'm going to ask you to please don't, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that little bell. That way you never miss. Uh, it'll know, notify you every time I put a new tutorial on or every time I put a new giveaway on. I always have quite a few giveaways on my channel. So let's go ahead and get started on it. And you want to start with the slip knot. And we're going to start with a chain of three. And then you want to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. that and chain one. Now I'm going to work six single crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you want to slip stitch into your first single crochet so always count back one two three four five six so count back to make sure you get that first single crochet and I'm going to tie off right here and change colors now you don't have to tie off to change colors I always tie off though when I change colors so now I'm going to go to my pink and make a couple little petals, few little petals on here. So I'm just going to start in that same stitch that I ended in. Should have six stitches. So go ahead and start. You can actually start in any one you want, but I'm going to start in the one that I ended in. Okay, I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to work two half double crochets back into the same stitch two of them half doubles so there's one two three 
two, and then I'm gonna chain two again and slip stitch into the same stitch. Just like that. And that is one petal made. Now I'm gonna slip stitch over into the next stitch and I'm gonna do that same thing again. I'm going to chain two and work two half double crochets into the same stitch. So there's one, two, then I'm gonna chain two <clears throat> and then I'm going to slip stitch into the same stitch. And I'm going to do this in every single stitch all the way around. So I'll have six petals when I finish. Again, slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain two. Two half double crochets back into the same stitch. Chain two. And slip stitch back into the same stitch. slip stitch over into the next stitch chain two two half double crochets back into the same stitch chain two and slip stitch back into the same stitch so I got four petals stitch now I should have a total of six Again, slip stitch over into the next stitch and repeat. Just repeat that until you have your six petals. Okay, once you get your six petals made, you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into the first stitch that you started in. That first stitch with the first petal. Tie that off. Now you want to make two of these exactly the same and then you want to hide the tails on them so two just like this okay now for the leaves you're going to need four of them and they're all made the same or you can you don't even have to use four if you don't want use as many as you want but i'm going to use four and i'm going to start with a slip knot on my hook okay now i'm going to do a chain of five one two three four five now i'm going to slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook so skip this first stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch and then i'm going to put one single crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into the next stitch and then the last stitch i'm going to work five half double crochets into that last stitch so five half doubles there's one two three four and there's five and now I'm going to start working back up this side of the chain. So if you want to try to hide your tail while you go, that's what I usually do. I'm going to put a half double crochet into the next stitch. So here's where we put the five. So into the next one, you work a half double. And then single into the next. And then we're going to slip stitch into the last. And it's just kind of right up here at the top somewhere. I usually slip stitch right up here. Just kind of right there in the top. It don't have to be exact. And kind of pull that tail just a little bit longer so we can sew it in. Okay. Now when you work on both sides of the chains like you did, sometimes there's holes on each side of it. So I always take my tail and sew in. While I'm sewing in my tail, I'll sew up that little crack there in the leaf. So... Just go right back through the top here and kind of work on the back side of your leaf and just kind of weave through that crack there that way that'll close up that hole a little bit plus they're going to be on the back of your flowers so you really won't be able to see them too much but 
it's the same for any leaf that you ever do. There's always going to be kind of a crack in the middle. And it's good to use your tail to kind of sew it up a bit. Okay. And then you can clip both these off because I hid this one when I was crocheting. And that one. Now you want to make four exactly the same, or I'm going to make four exactly the same. Okay, once you got your four leaves done, what you want to do is take your flowers and your leaves, flip your flower over, and put some hot glue on both sides of it like that. And then make sure your leaves are facing right side up when you glue them. Like here's the back side, so the right side will be over here, so... Stick it on there, and then your other one somewhere on here, like that. Press them together, so now the right sides of the leaves are facing up. And then you put a little bit of hot glue in the center. That's why I didn't worry too much about that hole being there, because I knew the button would cover it up and glue your button on there. So there's that, and you want to do that to both of your flowers, which I have already done like that okay now all that's left to do is hot glue them onto your barrette like that so take my hot glue and I'm gonna pull all the way across my barrette here and then I'm going to stick my flower right in the center of it Hold the leaves down on it. Press hard. Hold it on there for a few few seconds. Like that. And that's it. You finished. If you want to put a couple little more drops on the ends, if you miss a couple spots, that's fine. I'm not really gonna worry about it that much. And that's it cute little barrettes so there's one of them do the other one just the same I always burn myself with hot glue guns don't really like using them I usually just use a lighter but stick it on here right in the center put your leaves down on it Press it tight. Hold it there for a few seconds. And that's it. Now you got a couple little matching barrettes. Super cute. I think. Nice. Should be nice and strong on there, I would think. I really don't have a problem using hot glue and yarn because I don't think. I can't say never, but for me. I don't have any problem with that ever coming undone. Of course, I guess it always could, but it seems to be really strong. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, too. Um, if you make this or anything else, I'd really love to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on the, my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And I'll also put a link below to my website, too. You can check that out too if you get time but until next time have a good day